Is there a missing link from uh, genomics to clinical uh, practice? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I think as I explained the talk, um, if you just sequence a patient, um, a lot of times you have a hard time predicting what the actual clinical phenotype uh, would be. And therefore, um, you need something for you to test the hypothesis that this gene caused this phenotype or this gene does not cause the phenotype. So currently, we don't have a way to do that uh, in a uh, human model. We have a way for doing that in a mouse model by creating transcendent knock-in and knock-out mouse to see what the phenotype is. But I think as you're all aware, mouse and humans are not the same, and therefore it would be nice to have a human model. And I think right now the human model will be using patient-specific uh, uh, iPA cell-derived heart cells in conjunction with genome editing in conjunction with the patient's uh, genomics to f try to figure out what is the link between the genotype and the phenotype. Yeah. Could you explain uh, your platform of uh, genomic uh, phenotype induced pluripotent stem cells for modeling cardiovascular diseases? Yeah, so our lab uh, focuses on taking, uh, taking patient's blood and from the patient's blood we make the patient's uh, iPS cells or induced pluripotent stem cells. And for the patient's iPA cell, we then differentiate to the patient's heart cells, liver cells, endothelial cells, and even brain cells. And so once we are able to generate patient's heart cells and endothelial cells, then we can study, uh, for example, different genetic mutations that are associated with the heart or different genetic mutations that are associated with the vasculature. And these type of uh, modeling then allows us to further elucidate the link between the genotype and the phenotype. Uh, cardiotoxicity is a major cause of uh, drug withdrawal post-marketing. Could the Stanford Biobank help to understand uh, drugs' uh, safety? Yeah, so the cardiac toxicity and drug uh, toxicity is a major issue for uh, essentially all kinds of drugs, uh, drugs for the heart, drugs for uh, schizophrenia, drugs for Alzheimer's, drugs for diabetes. So at the Stanford Biobank, we're interested in creating a large uh, biorepository of patient and disease-specific uh, cells, uh, generating heart cells and endothelial cells from this large uh, biobank. And this large biobank would have uh, different ethnicities, uh, different sex, and different cardiovascular history. And so the idea is that in the future, instead of finding cardiac toxicity, uh, post-marketing or instead of finding cardiac toxicity in phase three clinical trials. And we're hoping to catch the cardiac toxicity much earlier by testing the drug in this broad array or panel of these uh, patient-specific iPSLs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very very interesting. Much. Yeah. Many Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.